And as I stare into the eyes of hell itself, I can't help but think of one thing. Yahoo! Hello and salutations and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we did some side stuff and then made our way to sh uh, not shifting sands, lands, I'm telling the future here, uh, to Lethal Lava Land, which is what we're in right now. And we're going to start this episode out, as is apparently tradition at this point, with the 100 coins mission. Now, again, uh, the first video of Super Mario 64 actually hasn't gone up yet. I'm a little bit ahead of myself here. So I don't really know if you guys like the whole speeding up the 100 coins missions or not yet. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. Uh, again, if I find out you guys don't like the speeding up thing, then I will change that. Uh, but in, for the time being, I just don't know. I just don't know! I just don't know. Why are you being so aggressive? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys in a second. bada bing bada boom. I actually got way more stars outside of the volcano than I probably needed to. You can come in the volcano I think after like 60 or 70 stars and be okay. But I uh, just figured I'd go ahead and get them while I was out there. Okay, so that is it for the 100 coins mission. That actually did not take all that long at all. So the next thing we have to do is actually get another special cap. Now, uh, at one point we had a little bit of a spoiler pop up because we had gotten so many stars. First time out of you brought down to pillar blah 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 which I guess is really the only clue they give you on what to do here. See we need to get the uh, uh blue boxes all filled up and what we are going to do in order to do that is count how many times I can say the word do because vocabulary is not my strong point. Alright, so all we gotta do is swim over here. <laughs> see what I did there. We gotta swim over to the other side here and there's gonna be two pillars and then we hit them down. That's pretty much it. It's not that bad. It really does not. Although, I will say this is one of those things that, again, haunted my childhood greatly because I had no idea what to do with this room here. And I uh, was just kind of dumb, honestly. I believe the signs over there actually give you a little clue on what to do, but uh, I, again, was dumb. Uh, you can't really help that much as a child, I'm afraid. Just part of life. Just part of life. That drained all the water from the moat, which, in addition to opening up uh, Peach's castle for all sorts of evil attacks, will allow us to go into the... Wait for it. Burp. Vanishing Cap stage. Welcome to the Vanishing Cap switch course. All of the blue blocks you find will become swal swalid. Swalid? Swalid. Hmm. Freudian slip there, man. Once you step in the cap switch, you'll disappear when you put on vanish cap so you'll be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out. I will do just that. However, there is actually red coins here that we need to get, so what I'm going to do instead of what you just told me is screw up completely in the very beginning. Well, dang. Let's, uh, let's try that again, Mario. Away into the abyss! All right, this time, how about we don't screw up? That'd be real nice. Oh, God, really? No. Oh, jeez. Okay, see, the problem is I'm rushing. That's the problem. I need to not rush. So how about we just take our time? Well, I mean, I'm about to worry about the fire there, but it's not going to bother me. Okay, we needed that one. So it actually, okay, I thought it was centered. No wonder I was screwing up so badly. There we go, and then we jump over to this side to get yet another one. And then we jump over here. There's nothing actually over here, but we needed to come here anyways because the next one is down there. It basically just goes in a little zigzag pa pattern, so it's not that bad. Although at the bottom, I believe there are two here. 
No, just one? Okay. Excuse me, it does not, in fact, go in a zigzag pattern. It goes into a... I don't know what pattern that would be, actually. A whatever pattern. Oh, God, thank you. I thought I was done for. I thought I had screwed myself royally. Okay, now that we finally got past the first friggin' part of the level, let's actually go to the hard part now. Because life just hates you sometimes. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. It's not... I, I make this game look more difficult than it actually is sometimes, and I do worry. Because I know, like... What? Uh, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the dark abyss of death. <laughs> I worry that I make this game look more difficult than it actually is with my failitude, because it's not actually all that bad. But I do know that, uh, as I mentioned there in the trailer, a lot of people that get into this game who kind of missed it during its time talk about how bad the controls are and how it makes the game really difficult and all that. And that's, to be fair, that is a valid point. The controls have not aged. Just super goosh gosh. No. What did I just say? I have no idea. Nope, 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 nope. Bye-bye. You know, this probably is a good place to farm lives, actually, because even though I've been dying so much, I've actually got a surplus of lives building up. So, I mean, positive sides. You gotta look at the positive side of life, or else you're just gonna be really, really sad, like, all the time. Also, the fact that I missed this... Yippee! Okay, see, now that was skillful. That's what you gotta be to play the game, kids. You gotta be skillful, or else you're gonna die, like, four or five times before you actually get the coin and, and make everybody sad. D d d okay. <laughs> I am so scared. <laughs> I really am. Alright. You just step down the Vanish Cap switch. The Vanish Cap makes Mario disappear. Like a hoodie. Now, Vanish Cap's pop, yeah, blah, blah. We got it. We got it. I think I saved there and I didn't mean to, but whatever. More importantly, we got all the red coins, which gives us the yellow star, so that red and blue Mario can go get it. And that's the end of my story. This, this has been Colors with John Johnson. I uh, really hope your children doesn't watch this show, because that would be really, really bad. Anywho, <laughs> we got that out of the way. There's actually only one thing left to do in this episode. I know this episode is probably going to end up being kind of short, and I apologize for that, but truth be told, it just wasn't a whole lot to do with it. Also, why am I running in circles? I got lost for a second. Uh, now you may remember a little while back, we were in Big Boo's Haunt taking on all the stars there, but there's one that we couldn't get because we didn't have the Vanish Cap. But see, now we do have the Vanish Cap, and that makes it, uh, better. Better -er, uh, because we can now do that. Why do you people watch me? Like, seriously, it's not like this stuff is entertaining. Surely not. I don't think it is, anyways. There's a fly buzzing around my face and it's bothering me. Uh, you, you didn't really need to know that, I just felt I just felt like I should say it. Alright. So let's go and go back to Big Boo's Haunt so we can finish this little thing up and get all done and diggly dang done with it. I'm actually gonna be pretty happy about that because Big Boo's Haunt is not my favorite level. Not my least favorite either, but not my favorite. Also, we're done with Lethal, lethal Lava Land, which actually makes me a little sad. It's a bittersweet thing, this episode. We finish up a level I don't particularly enjoy that Ow. I don't particularly enjoy that much, but we also finish up a level that I do enjoy that much. It's, it's, it's kind of sad when you think about it. Not really, not at all. Alright, eye to eye in the secret room. So, I think I touched on this a little bit when we were uh, in the level itself. But I don't remember for sure, so I'm just going to go ahead and repeat myself. Uh, now that we have the Vanish Cap, you may have... You, no, don't go in random doors. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and get your health up because I don't want you to end up dying and making this much more difficult of a, of a episode than it needs to be. Come on, you Mr. Blue Eyeball. There we go. Uh, you may remember seeing all the big boo paintings and all that around. Well, all those are actually transparent, and we can get inside of those, uh, which is really cool, actually. This is another star that kind of eluded me a lot when I was a kid. It's actually kind of tough to get because of a timing thing. This particular blue cap does not last all that long, so if you don't make this jump right here, like, immediately, it can be kind of hard, and you're, you're gonna run out of time and, and be a sad panda. And nobody wants to be a sad panda. But on the right side, it looks like we got that done really quick, actually. Ah, usually that takes me a few tries. Alright, there's a boo. Get out of my way, boo. Nobody likes you, boo. Alright. So let's get this done real quick, like, and... Boom! We get the final star in Big Boo's Haunt. And that's a cool thing, if I do say so myself. Now, we didn't really do a whole lot in this episode, star-wise. We got the Vanish Cap, we got some stars and 100 coins. 
trip. It was a pretty good little episode, if you ask me, but I do know it was kind of short, so I apologize for that, but hey, it is what it is. Don't you, boo. Don't you even think about it, good sir. It's not, it's not cool. Go away. Actually, you know what? I'm going to kill you, because you're going to screw me up in the outro, aren't you? All right, so that is going to be it for this episode. Today's daily question. What is your favorite multiplayer Mario game? Uh, most of those that come to mind are going to be like the newer Super Mario Brothers and all that good stuff, which is great fun by themselves, but don't forget like Super Mario World. That was technically two-player. Even the original Mario and Mario two, uh, 2 and 3, I think both were two. Well, I know 3 was, and I think 2 was two-player as well. Numbers confuse me. All right. That's going to be it for this episode. As always, like if you like, leave a comment, tell me what it did right, or what it did wrong, subscribe if you want to see more, please share with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time in Let's Play Mario 64. So you thought I was going to say something weird and crazy and, and make voices and stuff, but I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, scratch your butt, Mario. It's tradition. It's tradition.